advice again on how to run that colony. Hello, the retro game of VX household. Yes. Oh, hello, just a telephone. Yes. You are having a problem with your dial. Okay, you want me to fix it because you like it when I finger you. I mean, finger your dial. Okay, we shall do that right now. I'll be right back. Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Club. Sorry about the daft intro, I just couldn't resist it. Anyway, this is a BT746 a rotary dial telephone. Yes, this is the classic uh, British telecom phone from the 1970s and 1980s. Uh, I've been after one of these for ages and I've finally managed to get one. Already converted to the modern network so I didn't have to bother with that. And well, this one suffers the uh, classic problem as the age, uh, watch it not do this now, that when you, with these, if you don't know, you dial by rotating the dial. So zero would be all the way around to here. Uh, and I'm going to show you, uh, so just press one first, so there you go. And that's how it works too. But you can see the classic problem of the dial is getting a bit slow to return. And I've looked on that, you can tension this off here to improve this. And after a few goes it works fine, but uh, there we go. After many inquiries online, I have found a simple method that works to restore these, uh, which most people don't mention. They say get new mechanisms, but there is a simple way. I'm going to get an inlay for there. They make them on, yeah, these guys on eBay make them, so I'm going to get that done. Uh, but anyway small crack on this but it doesn't affect its functionality so to do this operation first of all we're going to have to remove the dial so if you just twist this screw in the middle take that out put it safely to one side take out the dial put that safely to one side next you'll need to carefully remove this spring there that's pretty easy stuff put it over there safely now you're going to have to remove this plate here. You can turn it down, so you turn it upside down and remove that. Or you can just use a piece of tape, put it over the top, not over the middle, pull, and away it comes, revealing the intricate mechanism inside. Let's have a look at it. Right, to do this operation, uh, this is the inside, and we're going to have to bless with this bugger. This is called the governor, and it controls the tension but these over time get clogged up so what you're gonna have to do is get some clock oil you'll need nice thin clock oil because this doesn't attract gunk or anything like that and some q-tips as they call them or cotton buds and all we're going to do first of all is just have a good poke around in here see how much gunk and other assorted crap we can get out uh, it's not easy access, but just get in there as much as you can, rotating the thing and get all the crud out that's built up in there. In the case of this one, since 1974. Uh, there we go, there's some nasty horrible crud. Fresh side and send it in again. Probably not get all the way around it because obviously we don't want to disassemble this because things will go pop and spring and it will be useless. So there we go, we got the crud out as much as we can. So next we get our clock oil. You'll only need a small amount, enough to go on the end of a Q-tip or cotton board. Dip it in, rub off the excess and send it in probing. Just use this to get that bar around there so I can get in. There we go. And send it around as much on the inside of the governor as you can. There we go. And I'm just going to use the other end for good measure. Put a bit extra in there because I can. And we've lost focus. Right, anyway, so 
yep, in she goes. All good. All refreshed and feeling good. So, what's left to do is to reassemble it and try it out. Let's do that, shall we? Right, so reassembly is easy enough. Just working in reverse order. Uh, that goes the dial. On the pins there. Uh, we then put our spring back on. <laughs> there we go. Good, good. Our dial, make sure it's the right way. Should fit in the holes. This one's slightly damaged, so it doesn't have the two holes, but it has one, and then I can line it up with the centre. And tighten them up, hopefully. Right, here we are, reassembled, and are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, there we go, all working much smoother. Sorry, I'm addicted to that. Now, yes, so if you uh, do this and it doesn't run smooth, if it's coming back but it's running slow, there are several things that you can do. If you take this back off uh, and you'll see the cogs inside, just oil lightly around the edge of those cogs. Uh, you can try that. Also, some of them catch on the ring where the numbers are. So just oil around the edge between the brass and that ring. That can also be an issue. Other issues are alignment issues. The dial might be slightly out and it catches against the frame. So in that case, there was one screw at the back. You can flip the back up, pull it off, and there are screws at the back here which you can tighten and slacken to align the dial left and right. Uh, that's what I had to do with this one to get it to run smooth because it was catching on the frame. Uh, but that's now resolved. And it's working beautifully. There you go. So you can do them, uh, you don't have to uh, get a new dial. That's assuming that it's not just that the uh, mechanism is worn out. Uh, might be, just be the case that the governor needs cleaning out, re-oiling and re -oil all those parts. So, there you go, all done. Let me know if it's worked for you and if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I shall get in touch as soon as I can. Uh, so, there you go, fixed. One beautiful rotary dial from the 1970s. Thank you. Very. You need to put the dirty. You're a dirty boy.